Yeah, day is Wednesday, August 28th, about 1.30 in the afternoon. As you can see from the background pic, I'm just here at the house taking it easy. Watching YouTube videos and the news. And I was watching the financial news the other day and it is a story about people working full-time jobs and not be able to afford rent. One of them was a dog groomer, making between thirty and thirty-four thousand dollars a year of gross. Upset that she couldn't afford to pay rent in San Francisco, one of the most expensive cities in the country to live in. And for the life of me, I can't understand the liberal mindset. They think, well, I work a full-time job. I should be able to do what I want to do. Well, it doesn't work that way. You know, if you want to live in one of the most expensive cities in the United States, you might have an appropriate wage to be able to do so or quit complaining. That's just me. Yeah, my wife tried to talk me into buying a $100,000 one-ton Ram pickup. I said, no. You know, first off, it's too fancy for me. It's going to get mud and dirt in it. I don't like scrubbing carpets every other week. And I said, my Tradesman Series Ram pickup will pull a 36,000-pound trailer, and it has done so. That's all they need. It's got vinyl floor mats, vinyl seats. Ain't no such thing as wood grain on the inside. It's just a strong, powerful four-wheel drive. Crew cab, long bed, pickup with a high output, 6.7 liter Cummins diesel. And the Eisen transmission. That's all I need. It's a 2017 model. I have 73,600 and some change miles on it. It's a 2017 model. And uh, it's more than enough for me. So even though we can afford to go buy a brand new $100,000 pickup, I ain't going to do it. Well, I'm not going to pay $100,000 for a damn pickup. Period. And most of the factory issues on my 2017 have been taken care of by now and you buy a brand new vehicle you're going to be dealing with factory defects for at least two years if you're lucky and if they're repairable if they're part supported the whole damn economy model has changed it's, it's not like it used to be when us old guys were younger Manufacturers built quality and took shame if there was a problem with their product. Nowadays, they just don't care. You know, the corporate reputation is non-existent, and they don't care. It's strange. I'm seeing that firsthand with the buyer group that bought my company. Uh, when I owned it, I had an immaculate corporate reputation. I was known for my quality and my durability. Two years later, uh, not so much. It is what it is. Uh, Y'all want to, let me know what you think about that. I think it's kind of disappointing myself, but that's just me. You know, people got used to buying crap out of China. You get what you pay for. If it works when you unbox it, you're actually money ahead. If it don't work when you unbox it, you try to return it. If it breaks after 30 days, you think, well, my bad. Just buy another one. It's pitiful. And they're saying that the American dream slips away amid inflation. That's not the whole story. But wife was asking, well, how can Harris ever get elected president? And I told her, half the American population hates former President Trump and will vote for anybody 
but him. This election cycle, their choice is going to be Harris. One of them is going to win. That's pretty much guaranteed. We'll see what happens. You know, I was trying to explain to my wife, you know, they're talking about raising corporate taxes. Well, that's fine. Corporations don't pay taxes. The consumers do. So if they jack up the corporate income tax rate 14%, product price is going to go up 18%. You know, the net profit after tax by the corporations will not go down. And one thing people don't understand, we've had a long run of high corporate profits, and they forget the years where corporations were losing billions of dollars or going broke and being liquidated. They kind of forget that part. They only see the profit part. Well, that's not fair. Let's take it back in taxes. Careful what you ask for. Anyway, I stayed home today to relax my back. It's still pretty damn tender. And uh, I think the better thing for me to do is just rest it until it's more fully recovered instead of pushing my schedule and not giving it a chance to heal up. Now, if I twist wrong, move wrong, lift something wrong, as sharp stabbing pains in my lower spine not just discomfort as damn near crippling but anyway that's all for this one thank you